Hey guys, Woody the Unexceptional Gamer pretending to be a search and destroy player once again. So I don't really know what I'm doing here. I choose the Scorpion because I figure lightweight is more useful than flak jacket, which is what's on most of my classes because I like to play the objective. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just staying at the edge of the map and kind of running around, I don't know, what hoping I don't die. And uh, I head into the gas station and there's a guy, there's a guy. Good, good. All right, so this is going good. Now, uh, I figure they know where I am because there's like a skull that popped up. So I'm afraid to go anywhere. Like I'm afraid if I walk through this gas station that some guy will be on the other side waiting for me or whatever. So I'm just kind of moving like extra slow and cautiously until I figure that the skull thing is kind of, you know, out of date. So anyway, the bomb carries behind me. I push forward. I don't know where they are and they don't know where I am, I guess. So <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'm hoping that he pops in front of my sights because this is the sort of thing that a search and destroy player would do, right? Like just waiting for someone to hop in front of their gun. And uh, all right, I'll come up here. <laughs> Dude, free kill. But I guess I could have been his free kill as well. So, you know, who the hell knows? He did have the advantage. But I shot him in the feet, which is clearly a deadly wound. And that was the end of that. Now, I'm headed over this way. I don't have any particular plan, but I see a sniper, and I don't know what I'm doing, so I run out of there. Good thing the sniper sucks. Sniper doesn't suck. Sniper shot me in the ass as I was running away. So, uh, yeah, that's, I don't know. I'm, I'm, but I know where the sniper is, right? You know, the, the, there's only one guy left on their team. I checked the scoreboard, I think, and he's over here somewhere. So I'm crouch walking. I'm, you know, being extra quiet, kind of waiting for the sniper, thinking that he's going to be prepared for me. Check my corners. And there he is. Free kill. So that's round one. Off to a good start. Let's do round two. Round ending kill cam epicness. You know, every kill cam, I judge the guy's aim. And there's a lot of missing there. I don't know. Well, it could have been worse. It was hip fire, right? There's no auto aim. But uh, yeah, every kill cam, that's like a thing I do. I sit there and I watch people's aim and, and do whatever. So because I got three kills, I figure I'm some sort of search and destroy god, <laughs> or at least in this lobby. And I'm going to uh, to be aggressive and, and do my thing. I'm worried about the sniper, and I think I hear him shoot or something. So I start running away. Door's blocked, but whatever. Uh, I'd get the hell out of there. Because uh, the sniper, I think he's just like looking through that doorway, looking to get kills from from random people so hey hey buddy what's up we can be friends i'm gonna call you decoy well done all right <laughs> this is going fantastic <laughs> would this other guy like to run in front of me next you can be decoy too uh but uh, yeah, so we're playing search and look, there's all that activity, like all the lights are sort of like firing up there, but on the bomb carrier. So I figure, you know, if they've got three guys over there by the A plant, I'm going to run over here by the B plant and do my thing, like get the plant. So ah, UAV assists are popping up and I go for the plant, but I don't get the plant because we win. But that's okay. I don't mind winning. Winning is fine. Epic round kill cam. This guy's in the wrong spot, actually, I think. Um, there is a better line of sight that you're going to see at the end of the third round that I think that you, you know, stick around for at least one more round because a line of sight at the end is something I see the pros using when they pop in their streams, and it might help you, especially for search. So, round three begins. Now, I've headed over in this direction, like, every single time, and mostly because I just don't have any better ideas. I feel like when I run up the center, I, there's a sniper there waiting for me. And I don't know. But there's decoys in front. So I just run and watch this. Look, I just like randomly sprayed bullets across the entire field. And two guys dropped. So, uh, yeah, this is a good start. I'm 6-0 I'm and oh, and the team is doing fine. We got a couple guys dropped. And I think they're short on players like to begin this round. They weren't short to begin the game. But some of them rage quit already. Guy's going for a plant, it looks like at Alpha. And I'm not quite sure what to do with myself. Because again, you know, like I'm popping up on the uh, the radar as the skulls, you know, after I get the team kills. But um, I'm running over to B here. Because in my head, this is where the plant is. But I'm wrong. Like, I, and in my head, I was like, oh, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to help people and, and sort of defend this bomb plant. And it's not until much later that I realized, like, oh, wait a minute, Woody, you're not even near the bomb plant. I, I thought that I was participating in the game more than I actually was. But uh, now I, I kind of, like, wake up. Like, holy smokes. You know, it, it, the bomb plant's not here. It's way across the map. But it, fortunately, my teammate gets the kill. And this is the line of sight that I wanted you guys to see. I knew about it already. But here, this here is tremendously valuable. And you're going to win most of your gunfights when you set up like this. That guy knows what he's doing. He's 4-1. and one. He's the other guy who's doing well in this game. So uh, uh, now we are on to round four. Here we go. 
Search and destroy. Round four. So now we're on defense, and that changes things up a little bit. I think they should change search and destroy every single round instead of like, you know, because sometimes defense or offense is way easier. So one team takes a giant lead compared to the other. And uh, yeah. Anyway, there's a guy shooting there. So I could rush it and just go maniac about it. But instead, I'm hoping that he comes forward and I get this like position of advantage behind the car, the crit thing, but it doesn't work out like I wanted it to. Ah, oh, you should have been dead. I got the assist. I must have been one bullet shy or, or something like that, but um, that's all good. It's all good. And then here, this guy's here. I'm out super aggressive. I bump into a bad guy. I'm behind him. And that is search and destroy. Every once in a while, things go nicely. <laughs> so I think I'm getting the hang of this game a little more than, you know, say when Black Ops, first, Black Ops 2 first dropped. And I'm having some fun with it. I'm glad they included it in Mercenary Mosh Pit. I hope you enjoy the commentary. Painkiller already is tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, 1 a.m. in England, and 2 a.m. in the rest of Europe. I'll see you there. Bye. If you enjoyed the video, then for goodness sakes, click on like. If you're new and you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe in the top right. Here's two you may have missed. Have a good day.